Hello, followers. We are starting the academic workshop. Uh, I promised to do this, uh, but I've been facing some challenges and we are able to have time today to just start something a little just introductory. Uh, the quality is going to improve in the future videos. So I hope you have installed the softwares that are required or the prerequisite for you to actually uh, partake in this very particular class. Talking about Zotero software, I said you can download and install and then check if it reflects on your Microsoft Word and also go to your browser and uh, install the extension or connector, Zotero connector of that very particular browser. If you have done that, then you are good to go. If you haven't done that, uh, we are going to drop the procedure or we have the procedure down in the comment section of this YouTube video. So go through it. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow our Facebook, share our post as widely as possible. So let's quickly start. Uh, we start by opening Zotero. Zotero actually is the major software we're making use of. So the Zotero now, you on the Zotero, you can see there are existing folders. This is because I've been using it. Yours, in your own case, maybe there won't be any folder there, but the right thing to do when you want your work to be organized and differentiate your work because you may have various assignments to do, uh, you create a folder called collection. So I click here, so let's create one. Um, we can call it academic workshop so that every academic paper that we download will be going to this folder. And uh, the way you make it to direct the papers to it is by selecting it so that you, you can now minimize. So the next thing is to go to our browser. I'm using uh, Microsoft Edge which I have informed us that we need to uh, install the Zotero connector for the browser. I have mine here. Yeah, you can also confirm it from extension. So I'm having it right here. So, however, uh, before we start making use of the Zotero, normally when you are given an assignment, what we normally do is we look for the uh, search engines that we know the most popular one is the usual google.com and then we just type the question for example if this if the question is what is cyber physical systems so we just ask google google bring out some options even wikipedia being the first uh, maybe because we are lazy or because of lack of understanding, you just click this option and carry what you want to carry. Maybe just go and uh, remove the hyperlinks and, and just submit. So sometimes you even put Wikipedia as a reference. Uh, nowadays, I think uh, Wikipedia is being rejected as reference. So we are supposed to go a little bit more advanced. I'm not trying to say that Wikipedia is not good or some of the uh, links you get from google.com are not good. They are good, quite okay. But just make use of them to have an idea. Yes, uh, not when you are doing a serious work, academic work that uh, they are looking for references. Some of these uh, references that you get directly from google.com might not uh, be suitable so because the academia they are actually looking for academic papers in fact even the academic papers have various categories various levels so uh, so what you are supposed to do instead of using uh, just google.com the same google 
have scholar google maybe some of you have heard about it scholar.google.com so it's open it's also a search engine you can copy this same question you take it there it's also a search engine you paste it there and do your search you can see the difference can you compare this with the pdf first some just websites websites some are just blogs and actually like this is a paper but they are rare you will see and sometimes uh, they may not be even up to the quality you're looking for so here you are likely to even here it's not every paper that is standard enough yeah they are published on different journals uh, by different publishers uh, i mean uh, if you are following the ranking of journals there are very high top ranked journals maybe science uh, maybe uh, nature and some other ones like that you're talking about uh, your criteria is based on uh, the top ranked uh, publishers like uh, Elsevier, uh, you know, Springer and the rest, you know, uh, but sometimes it's not based on the, those criteria. There are other criteria that some people also check. For example, if they want to check this paper whether it's good, they just click on this first one. Okay, this one opens directly. Uh, no, maybe you come to the one that doesn't open directly. Let's say this other one. So they will check how many citations, how many people have cited the paper, and then they are also looking at how old has it been online so that they will know whether it is good. So, so based on that criteria, uh, they if many people have cited the paper that means it's a very good paper i think we don't even have to open it for us to confirm that we can confirm here you can see cited by 5086 you understand so and then this question that you ask see the result about 30,500 results and it came in 0 0.10 seconds. This is where you can get the papers, even in PDF format, from different conferences, maybe IEEE, and uh, some of them. Uh, and then you can you can even customize the uh, range of years that you want. Maybe if you just need papers from 2023 to reduce the volume you can see it's reduced to 13,000 just 2023 we have about 13,000 papers that on scholar google that is talking about cyber physical system actually is one topic that is really trending now you understand so you can see since 2022 you can click this custom you customize uh, maybe you say from from 20 20 to 2023 so you see the number jumped to 26800 results is higher than on, only taking 2023 so, uh, but what I want to say is that uh, your supervisor or your lecturer that give you the assignment or the one supervising your thesis, your project, is the main determining factor of what articles are very good. You may use your own uh, uh, skills also, but if they guide you, just follow what they are looking for. If they say they don't even uh, need top rank uh, articles 
give them what they're looking for. They can even give you maybe 10 years or even more range. Uh, papers maybe for, from the past 10 years or from the past 20 years. If they allow you to get those papers, just try and get them and make use of them. Uh, if they don't give you criteria by the site, number of citations, or particular uh, journal or uh, publisher, then just get what you can get, which ones that you just download as many papers as possible if it is uh, a lengthy write-up like a, a project so that you can use some parameters to filter out some of the papers and uh, you scale it down to the number to uh, to less number of papers that are closely related to the topic help to give background in answering your research questions so um, some lecturers also used to specify which conferences the papers should be from yeah conferences that they used to attend or so. So in that case, you have to select or search based on those conferences and get the papers from there. The only problem we are having in Nigeria now is access, unlimited access to papers. For example, here now, this scholar Google, uh, it's not every paper that we can get for free. Some of them like, okay, let me try this one. Some of them you can get for free. Some of them you cannot get them for free. It's okay. We are having this paper. This is the PDF. I click. It doesn't allow me, but it's asking me to go through institutional sign in. I'm using my institution back in Hungary to sign in. Uh, implement this in our higher institution let students have access to high quality academic papers both students and lecturers and productivity in terms of uh, the academia uh, is going to or let me say contribution from the academia will be very high you can see the paper is opening just because i log in with my institutional login details you see so i have access to this 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 is the paper so this is the paper it's a survey work on media analytics and security system for cyber physical system and iot these are the people that did wrote the paper yeah, so this is the paper, it's up to seven page paper. So I have everything complete. I have the access. We really need this access. So, so if I want, I can save it. That means I've downloaded it offline. Then if I want to use it on the Zotero, we are, we are, we are, we are considering after looking through and I'm satisfied. I can just come here to the extension, click and click Zotero extension. And then it is saved on the academic workshop folder that we created. So let's go backward. So this is actually uh, from IEEE Explore. So uh, in Scholar Google, you have papers from different publishers different conferences so that is that was IEEE so let's check this so this okay uh, so it's already showing us view PDF so maybe it's free so you can see the paper yeah, it's really available. It's also about the cyber physical system security limitation issues, future trend, and it's up to 33 pages. 
and uh, this is actually freely available interested so you can just save it but we are taking it to zotero so you can click here zotero connector so it is added there automatically so uh let me show something uh, so if you have a paper that you didn't get access to and uh, and uh, you don't have some of this institutional login let's try this for example oh this i think is also free if you see view pdf most of the time they are free when you click it will open so let's try we're trying another one so if i click to download it is requesting that i must log in to my institution this is obuda university have they are having access i think they purchased the access but my university is back in nigeria i don't think you people are here maybe let's check whether some of the highest rank universities may be found university of ibadan university of ibadan i can't find it let's go back to taraba state university our own main community it's nowhere to be found let's try that best University. Oh. Technology, you see, I'm typing and it came. That is not even my university. I just want to show you that another university that subscribed can also have access. But I don't think our universities are there. Our lecturers watching this uh, video, if there is any way to have access to these papers, maybe you can make a comment so that our student can learn from you however there is a way that uh, i think guys that used to grant access to some papers not every paper so sometimes and the their site used to be blocked and opened again so you can try sometimes they may help sci-hop actually it is sci-hop that is the name of the, the the platform so dot the end of it usually change we have used dot uh, cc we have used dot se we have used different they block after some time and they open a new one i think this is the new one we are using so this is the recent one site of dot hkvisa.net so this is it so it unlocks papers for you but some papers are usually too hard for it so this is the paper that we don't have access to unless we can log into your institution so the way sci-hop works it requires the doi number i call it doi number d-o-i number so you can copy it you bring it there so you click this space paste try to open wow it worked so when you get it like this you can save yeah, if you're using zotero you can just click this place and just save it to zotero so you got the paper you can also save and get but it's not every paper as i tell you and i don't know i think we may not have so much time to be checking which paper it can open and which one it cannot open but i'm assuring you that some of them it is not going to open another uh, platform that it could be interested for you to get some papers is researchgate like this paper i'm pointing at is from researchgate.net uh, you need to register as a member of researchgate if you are a member you can actually request for papers and you will get uh, a copy okay this is a whole book on its own so but research yet is good just that the another problem about it is 
most of the time it doesn't accept uh, uh, all these general uh, email addresses that are popular that we popularly use like uh, gmails yahoo mail so if you have your institutional email which i don't know if our universities practice that i know they do for lecturers but if you have an institutional email let's say for example deire umar at tsu jalingo dot tsu jalingo dot i think our own is dot edu dot ng or something like that so if you if you if you have such kind of email and you join you have access to many researchers and uh, with that from there you can be downloading some papers for free or you request from them and then they give you the paper a copy and you can see i'm already logged in so yeah but all this one i'm using account from foreign universities so i don't know how you do it uh, as a nigerian student all these uh, we will need uh, other people that are accessing them to guide us it is important so for example here university in korea uh, the hanyan university erica this is the library the university library they have spent so much invested so much to give access to unlimited papers i mean when you just enter all this alphabet this you can use to just search for i mean uh conference papers yeah one of the most popular ones here is acm Sita library you click acm access is another problem so but this is something that uh is like e-library if we have e-libraries in our university it will really really help us so as i'm signing this is acm under acm there are many conferences so if i want from here i can search what i want to search if i want i will not search directly i will start by looking for maybe the conferences maybe if i'm already told a particular conference to search from so i will just go for that particular conference and search from it not everything so you see different different conferences different conferences here so let's go to like maybe mobicon go to mobicon yeah mobicon so from mobicon you can search what you're looking for maybe let's say cyber physical systems maybe the lecturer specify directly that all you are going he require from you should be from mobicon so you can see there so this is just a keynote it's not a main paper this is proceeding conference proceeding this is poster so if you come to acm library there are different uh, so this is a research article so if it's a research article you are looking for this this demonstration normally they are short maybe some practical work uh, or some experiment that are successful are published maybe two three four pages like that so these are uh, some this is an example of research article paper mostly research article paper may reach up to maybe more than four pages and above and uh, you will get a lot of information in just one so these people they have invested so much so much to give or grant access to resources online so all these ones you know one have an access this is just mobicom 
and I didn't put some filter criteria. Also, you can filter by number of years, like here, just from the past two years, from the past five years, you can filter like that and pick the papers that you're looking for. So this is basically just how to get your papers. So uh, remember something, the challenge you're facing in Nigeria of access some papers you're interested in. Maybe if you use Sci-Hope, Sci-Hope can help you unlock if possible. Try as much as possible if you can join ResearchGate using some of the emails that are acceptable you can also be getting papers from there and i will advise you don't be looking for very old papers try and look for papers five from five years back to not to present unless you know that uh, the work you are giving uh, there is no so much uh, problem uh, regarding the the year because when you're putting your references and they're seeing very old year then the supervisor will get discouraged about you because it's like you are doing an old research a research that has been done in fact the whole thing you achieve can be called plagiarism because they are already done and done and done despite the fact that you are reviewing and you are following everything uh, i mean if success has already been achieve there maximally uh, the, the gaps that you are uh, trying to 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 handle if it has already been handled uh, there is no excess of the research or if it is just assignment to give some answers maybe you will just give the answers there may be no problem maybe there is nothing that has changed uh, over the years about some definition or the explanation but be sure check widely so back to our zotero environment you can see now in under academic workshop these are the papers that we have brought here so far so assuming that you read the paper and you have a definition from the paper so you come to your ms word so we are looking for definitions of the physical system. So maybe this is our uh, answer sheet, the sheet. Uh, so we go to the papers that we found. This is one of them. Uh, they defined cyber physical system somewhere. What is cyber physical system? And then maybe you can you may decide to pick the definition directly and then you cite this paper don't consider the citation there too don't be looking for the reference number two here to cite it is that very particular paper that you get the the, the information from that is being cited yeah i think some people in the past used uh, to do a particular practice they will write as cited by this so that means uh, even the paper you are referencing from they also cited from another place so you will see as cited by the paper you reference from because they are also not the original but now you can cite them directly. I think uh, there is a resolution about that. So, so now if you are having this definition, so for today we are not going to do paraphrasing, uh, plagiarism. So we just paste everything directly just to show how to do the citation. So, so now, if you want to bring this paper, the name of the paper, the title of the paper, or just anything that you can remember about the paper, the use of artificial intelligence. So you come to your Zotero inside MS Word this time around. Click Zotero. So maybe you put your citation at the beginning here. 
according to say artificial just what you can remember about the paper just type it will come it's come you select you see it's arranging it for you in apa format oh if you get this kind of error just do control z control z according to then you go back again and try Say artificial so but you should know the word you will use to search and you should be careful so that when you have several papers maybe those that are having artificial in them or artificial intelligence if you start with artificial you have to be careful you select from the list of papers that you are having so if you want to do it you can say according to this these people the cyber physical system is this 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 like this so in that case maybe here you can even rearrange it to be this format according to the standard writing format yes so if we let's look at one more reference one more this one or more paper that is opened by Yakup and other people cyber physical system security limitation so let's say you came here also and then you pick something about cyber physical systems then you brought it here and you form another paragraph with it uh, any formatting you can do but our concentration is just on referencing this so you can bring it in you can say yeah yeah oh yeah it has come so you see yeah hope it all this and uh, this is perfect how to reference it is there so in case maybe you want to generate the references automatically you can easily do that by just coming try again geography and it's going to generate we only have two papers for now so these are the two papers you can so just do some rearrangement to the papers for example the spacing, some formatting just to arrange it to be nice. If you have many papers, it will arrange alphabetical order, every other thing for you. Don't worry, we are not yet into that. This is just introductory, but be very careful. You can have many papers, so we don't be, be, be too fast. You should be very careful while you're working. For example, in this work, I have so many papers and some of them uh, the title sounds similar so you have to be very careful whenever you are citing such kind of paper so nice to have you see you in the next video